In politics, what you're looking for is moderate people. You're looking for people who are not so red and so blue because they're actually red, white, and blue. I was going to make a completely different prophecy today. Going over the blog, covering my steps. What have I left undone? Okay, this one, it's part of a series. I have to make these a series. And oh, okay, here's one. I had found that one. I was about to make it and God immediately began to speak over me preparing for that prophecy. I have to bring the prophecy, an old prophecy three years ago, four years ago. I have to bring the prophecy back into remembrance in my heart. I have to read it for some time. I have to sit. I have to allow the scriptures in the message to settle inside me because there is a way that they have to be projected out, launched out. I'm doing that. And God just begins to speak over that. He begins to speak over that, a completely different message. And yet that message is perfectly connected to this one from long ago. Headwinds is that message. A headwind is a stiff wind. A headwind is a wind that will fight you. If the wind is behind you, the wind will be your friend. Your boat will literally fly across the water. But when you are sailing and you come against a headwind, the boat will actually be going backwards on the water because the waves will offend against you. The wind will offend against you. That is what is coming to America. God is going to fight this country. God says that the elections are already over to him and America's problems will set in full scale, full scale. In fact, today I was hearing the American people say, well, you know, what's done is done. Let's just try to move forward. That's what they were saying. After the election, when the result came out, I heard people's voices say, well, you know, this is the moderate people. This is not the psychopath people that will be having nervous breakdowns. The moderate people were saying, well, you know, what's done is done. What's important now is to try and have enough unity to build the country. And God said, it will not come. Tell them that it will not come. Tell them that their downfall is rushing and racing to meet them. That's what those moderate voices, smart voices, in politics, what you're looking for is moderate people. You're looking for people who are not so red and so blue because they're actually red, white, and blue. They have all the right mix of the colors in them. And what they want is a, is a sound America. They're not dying over it has to be a Republican America. They're not dying on the hill of if America isn't blue, then who are you? They don't have slogans. They're actually looking for a strong um, they're looking for a strong economy. They're looking for strong money. They're looking for good schools. They're looking for moderate policies that build the nation. Those people are willing to work with whoever is in power as long as that person considers the important ideals of the nation. I heard those voices saying, look, what's done is done. The important thing is how we build moving forward. And God said, tell them that there's nothing like that. Tell them that their judgments are going to come rushing up to meet them. That phrase rushing up to meet them is usually used for drunk people as they're in the slow free fall to smash their face, nose and teeth on the pavement. It's a literary phrase. As he fell, the pavement came rushing up to meet him. As the boat sank, the waves came rushing up to meet them. It means hard times, hard impacts, calamity coming up at full force. That is what Yah says. Tell them there's nothing like that. There's nothing like coalition government. There's nothing like cooperation coming. When the elections are over, it is all out internal war. All out internal war, rocking of this boat. And problems setting in like cold, cold gravestones for real. Mass transit, mass movement in America, outside of America. A lot of people leaving America. A lot of people saying, I'm getting my ticket punched for good. I don't think I'll stay. This is not the America I grew up in. This is not the America I expected. I can't raise my children here. I know we emigrated here, Emmett. I know we came here and I thought we could make a, a, a life of it, but I can't. I have to go back to where I came from. I love you, but I can't live here anymore. My parents didn't raise me like this. Foreigners putting strain on their marriage. Americans not wanting to separate from their homeland. A lot of Americans don't want to leave because this place is all they know. An American's good for a 10 day trip across Europe, but has to come back because the French fries just aren't greasy like everywhere else. Well. 
a lot of separation, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of calling it quits, mass movement, mass transit, outside of the borders, punching, punching your ticket, leaving for good, and also mass transit, movement across states, movement from um, this type of state to that state, movement from red state to blue state, or movement from blue state to red state, whatever it is, just mass transit, just unrest, just moving, just different demographics, different demographics, God is saying. And so all these things are important. We need to have an understanding that God is not playing around with this country. America, we are in a judgment arc. And I'm sorry to say that we haven't even crept up to say, oh, we're at the middle now. We just have a little bit more to go. We are beginning the slow inching up to that place where the roller coaster sits. God says that America, actually, how can I put it? Before I put the camera on, he says, you know, they will have a tiny season where they will still be in power. He says America will have a tiny season where she will still be a little bit great. America will have a tiny season where she will still be a little bit important. Basically, the evidence of the rot, the evidence of the weakened floorboards of this nation will not yet be visible. So it's kind of like poised at the roller coaster. The, the impression that came into my heart is, oh, and there was a pause in heaven. There was a pause in heaven. I'm not saying that it is the fulfillment of that scripture, but just like it says, oh, there was a brief pause in heaven. It's the same thing. America will be remain suspended lightly like a dangling Christmas ornament at the top for a brief shining moment more. But then just like that Christmas ornament can be cut and because it's glass, it's the special one, right? It's the, usually the angel ornament white with feathers made of glass and usually it's dad or mom who hangs that one because it's a special tradition that thing is going to fall and shatter america is going to go into a time of international calamities international woes international distress and god says there's going to be a lot of finger pointing at this country a lot of public reprimand which is saying you should not have done this you should not have done this that was a poor move on your part a lot of that happened this year america was embarrassed and had a lot of non mic drop moments at the united nations this year and in other public forums and god says it's going to continue it's going to become loud He's saying to me right now, the nations are vocal against, um, against you, America. The nations have taken up your name in their mouth and not for praise. The nations have taken up your name in their mouth, but not for praise, not for commendation. It is for reproof. It is for reprimand and it is for shame. Thus saith the Lord. So there are great difficulties coming upon the United States great difficulties, shames, the challenges of pestilences, the challenges of natural disasters, the challenges of the outbreak of leprosy. Now that you know what it is, when you see it, you will know what it is. And it is your, it is your choice to exercise wisdom as to whether you're marrying into that bloodline.